Damien, with uh, so many injuries right now, especially to the veterans, I I'm wondering if Draymond's presence on the court is magnified even from what you remember last year, and what specifically do you see him doing to try to educate the younger guys and just keep everybody's intensity up? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Draymond's a heartbeat, so, you know, if we have four four all-stars out there or him out there, um, you know, him, d you know, but him just always continue to bring that spirit, bring that energy. Um, encouraging guys, you know, guys are going to make mistakes, obviously, we have to know a bunch of young guys. And then, you know, myself, and even though I've been in an organi organization for two, three years, you know, I'm trying to help guide guys along as well. You know, just trying to help talk them through, you know, whether they make mistakes or not. So, you know, I, I you know, definitely going forward, I want to try to help take some of that load off of, uh, you know, Draymond's back and just help, you know, talk to guys and just um, bring everybody along. I mean, obviously you've been here for a while, you know the system, but just curious, you came in in that first quarter and D'Angelo Russell was basically running pick and roll every play. What was it like for you playing off of him and playing off of that pick and roll scheme? Was there an adjustment at all or was it easier? How did you feel about it? Yeah, um, I mean, as, as I said earlier, you know, D'Lo was great in the pick and roll, you know, whether it's finding guys cut, creating for himself or creating for, you know, others. So for me, my game doesn't change. You know, it doesn't matter who I'm playing with. Really playing with all big men, playing with all point guards. You know, I try to space the floor, cut, um, just go out there and like, you know, just bring a spark off, off the bench, um, and just try to muck up the game uh, a little bit. Hey, Dylan, uh, have you talked to Steph, and, and how do you uh, sense his, his mood and level of, of feed or optimism right now? Um, I have not. Um, I mean, you know, everyone just sent the, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone's reached out to him, you know, and sent the good luck or, you know, praying for a speedy recovery text. I haven't talked to him. You know, I've been through a similar injury. I broke my hand four years ago. Um, so, you know, knowing that, you know, when the timing is right, you know, if it's anything, of any advice or anything that he wants to talk about, I'm open, but, um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's about giving someone their space. You know, this was a big injury, but also kind of piggybacking off what Draymond said. Like, there's there's a human element to this. You know, he's he's a man. He's a, he's a father. He's a son. He's a brother, uh, uncle. So you know, for him, it's you know all those little things that uh, you know it's are going to be difficult to adjust to over the next couple of months. Do you remember the the specifics of your hand injury with Steph? It's like the second metacarpal. Do you remember what? No, was this fourth? Uh, right here, I have a plate and three screws. Um, happened in the first half when I was at Drexel. 2015, happened in the first half of the game. Uh, I finished the game. That was my last game at Drexel. And uh, you know, I, I don't like to uh, you know, obviously talk about it. But I mean, the good thing about the game is I finished with 30 points. So I broke the shooting hand. So Do you, I guess I'll take that. What was the recovery and the rehab process like for you? Um, I mean, it was, I'd say about the same timeline as I guess what his is going to be. I mean, obviously, every injury is different. Um, I've had two, AC, uh, two ACLs. One, I tore my menis partial meniscus, and one was straight up partial ACL. So every injury is different. Um, so I can't really you know, speak on his, but I know on, on mine it was you know, about two, three months, and I mean, obviously it's tough, but I mean, you know, it's 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 a matter of overcoming these obstacles and you know, overcoming these valleys and turning them into mountains. Uh, Damien, there's a lot of guys on this team, yourself included, who are trying to prove that, that they should be not just part of the Warriors' long-term plans, but that they belong in the NBA in general. How big of an asset is that for this group in these in these next few months? Um, you know, it's, it's huge. You know, guys, um, you know, everybody that plays in the, in, the, in the league, you know, whether you're first man or the 15th man, everyone says that they want an opportunity. And throughout 82 games, you never know how the opportunity is going to present itself. And for us, it happened six games, five games in. Um, so, you know, just having this opportunity, just going out there, just everyone like, oh, just playing hard and knowing your role, being a star in your role, whatever, whatever it is that you do that's, 
helping you on this team, I'm pretty sure it's something that can help you on all the other 29 teams. And it's just a matter of finding your role, knowing what you do well, and you know, going from, from, from there. So, um, you know, obviously it's huge just having an opportunity, but not just for myself, for you know, everyone, whether on a one-year, two-year deal. I mean, you know how crazy this league is. Trades happen all the time, guys get cut, guys get bought out. So it's just a matter of taking advantage. Anything else? Cool. Appreciate that. A couple on here shortly.